colleagues, Nithya Raman and by Council Member Paul Krikorian. Mr. Harris Dawson will join us shortly and Mr. Lee is unavailable. So um, you wanna call roll and call the meeting to order. Calling the roll for the housing committee meeting, Council Member Cedillo. Here. Council Member Raman. Here. Council Member Harris Dawson is not present at the moment. Council Member Krikorian. Here. Council Member Lee is also not present. Three members present. You have a quorum, Mr. Chair. Okay. Um. Would you like me to read the public comment instructions? Yes, please. Members of the public who would like to offer public comment on the items listed on the agenda should call 1-669-254 Five two five two, and use meeting ID number one six zero eight seven one one eight six six, and then press the number sign. Press the number sign again when prompted for participant ID. Once admitted into the meeting, press star nine to request to speak. And an additional note that when it is your turn to speak, an automated Zoom voice will ask you to press star six to unmute. Can we start public comment now, Mr. Chair? Please. Okay. Connor, please state your name and the uh, items you want to speak on. Good afternoon. My name is Jonathan Yeager. I'm a staff attorney with the Legal Aid Foundation of Los Angeles, and I'm speaking on item number five and general public comment. You have, uh, you have two minutes. Thank you. As the frontline law firm for poor and low-income people in Los Angeles, LAFLA is acutely aware of the city's desperate need for safe, affordable housing. This is why LAFLA has been working with and on behalf of community land trusts for almost a decade. The community land trust model is a proven way to remove land from the speculative market, counteracting the corporate consolidation of housing and place that housing into the hands of the local community where it can provide both permanently affordable housing and wealth building opportunities. Across the country and internationally, interest in CLTs is growing. New York City has appointed a director of CLT initiatives and committed enough city owned land to support 3000 units of community owned or shared equity housing. LAFLA supports today's motion, agenda item number five, where we also ask that it be amended to direct the department to consult with the Los Angeles Community Land Trust Coalition as they prepare a report on the feasibility and process of establishing a citywide CLT partnership program modeled after the LA County program, and that the report include best practices for program design and funds and other resources needed to acquire and rehabilitate small multifamily properties with a goal of converting them to tenant ownership. The county pilot program has been hugely successful. Over just four months, the LA CLT Coalition has rapidly been acquiring eight buildings, making 42 units permanently affordable at an average subsidy of only $333,000 per unit. Even at the pilot stage, the program has proven to be a fast acting and cost effective strategy that will have very long term impacts. CLTs are smart public policy. A one-time investment is subsequently stewarded by the community as affordable housing forever, rather than requiring ongoing subsidies or dealing with expiring covenants. Today's motion is an important step in making sure that solutions to our housing crisis are centered on the community suffering through it. Thank you for helping to advance community ownership, stability, and self-determination in Los Angeles. Thank you, caller. Caller, I'll uh, would, would, would the uh, caller please state your name and what items you are spe speaking on, please. Hello, my name is Diana Jimenez. I am speaking on item number five and giving general public comment. Yes, you have two, two minutes. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon, council members. Uh, as I mentioned, my name is Diana Jimenez. I'm a project manager with Trust South LA, which is a community land trust that covers much of the um, first, eighth and ninth district in South Los Angeles. Um, I want to commend C Council Member Coretz and Council Member um, 
Bonin for introducing this motion, um, but also echo Jonathan's um, sentiments to ensure that the motion is amended to include the LACLT coalition's participation and collaboration in creating um, this report. It's really imperative for folks who are actually implementing the, um, the motion and the future opportunities for innovative policies to be at the decision-making table, but also be at the forefront of um, what these policies could look like. Um, as Jonathan mentioned, a lot of our organizations are already implementing a pilot program at the county level. Many of the projects themselves that have been bought um, are within the city of Los Angeles, but have faced their own barriers with um, working within uh, city of LA departments. And so we're really excited that this is an opportunity for um, all of us to collaborate and be at the forefront of um, creating the policies that will actually be implementable. As mentioned, um, the naturally occurring affordable housing program was something that uh, has its own challenges and we're able to convey um, what those were and what um, future barriers can be uh, prevented in order for us to have an implementable policy that will truly serve majority BIPOC low-income communities that have been devastated by the housing discrimination that uh, many of our communities continue to be ravaged by. So thank you so much for your support of the CLT motion and please um, amend it to include collaboration with the LA CLT coalition. I yield my time. Thank you so much. Thank you, caller. Caller, could you please state your name and the items you want to speak on? Yes, uh, all the items in the general public comment period. You have you have two minutes. No, I. But what about general public comment? Yeah, three minutes. You have three minutes. I'm sorry. Yes. Uh, see, he, he tried to fuck you, right? Yes, I know. <laughs> now, item number one. Raul Claros, you're doing a shitty fucking job on the Affordable Housing Commission. There is no affordable housing in Los Angeles. <laughs> How the hell can you call it affordable housing? It should be called one day maybe affordable housing commission. <laughs> you see the rents? Uh, we went down with Gil to look for an apartment. They started at $3,000 unfurnished. <laughs> That's no good. Part number one. Number two, the housing department accepting a money grant from a bank. Well, what can go wrong with that? <laughs> Mr. Weezar, he's, he's with me right now. Mr. Weezar, what do you think about number two? Oh, no, don't do it, don't do it. So in other words, Goat Puppet supports number two. Thank you, Mr. Weezar. It looks corrupt. And I like corruption because I have horns and a tail and I'm a goat. <laughs> number three, look at this, first American data tree. What's to know about real estate? There's three things you need to know when you do real estate transactions in the city. First, you have to pay off the building inspector. He'll send you accepted. Number two, you have to donate to the office holder account. He'll send you accepted. No, Gil accepts those donations. That's, that's good. That's good. And then the third thing, pay off the building inspector. <laughs> if you do that, you can build anything. Even those apartments by the freeway and the 110 that caught on fire. Developers like this city. Number four, a project cost allocation so the public can clearly understand what's being voted upon. This was needed for Nithya Ramen Noodle because every time she's in a meeting, she goes, Excuse me, can you clarify? And then Gil has to correct her and go, rawr, 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 rawr. And she goes, I don't understand, okay. And she votes yes on every item without reading it. Remember, the great Nancy Pelosi. You have to vote on the bill first, then you read it. That's good advice. Very good advice. Thank you, sir. Now we'll get to the general public comment. Now we're over here in CD 13, and we notice that when you call 213-473-7014 to report a homeless criminal jumping out of traffic over there by Reardon's, <laughs> known as the pantry. Uh, uh, that, that council member over, over there, uh, Weezar's replacement, Kevin Lyon. Kevin Lyon, 
is not answering the phone, and his voicemail is always full. Shame on you. And then Councilman John Lee, he's disappeared. And then Councilman Harris Dawson, he's wearing a... Thank you, caller. Caller, could you please state your name and the items you want to speak on? Caller, could you please state your name and the items you want to speak on? Caller with the last four numbers, 5109. Could you please state your name and the items you want to speak on? Caller, press star six to unmute. Go ahead. Hello? Go ahead. We can hear you. What are your name and your, the items you want to speak on, caller? Hi, yes. Uh, my name is Alicia Morales Perez, and uh, I'd like to speak on agenda item five, please. You have one minute. Um, thank you. Um, again, good afternoon, members of the Housing Committee. My name is Alicia Morales Perez, and I'm here with my colleague, Diana Jimenez uh, from Trust Off LA. And I'm here to express my support for agenda item five. Um, while a powerful motion as the people who work and implement um, with the work of CLTs, we also request that this motion direct city departments to consult directly with the LA CLT coalition in preparing a report on the feasibility and the process of creating a citywide CLT program. Um, my colleagues have spoken on the importance of uh, a CLT program here, um, but I also want to mention that We've been successful in this process because of communication that we've been able to have with LA County staff. Um, I think it is a reasonable and fair request to ensure maximum collaboration and communication exists between the two entities that would ultimately roll out this program. Um, again, thank you, caller. Caller, could you please state your name and the items you want to speak on? Um, good afternoon. My name is Casey Ventura, and I'm speaking today in support of item number five and making general comment. Two minutes. You have two minutes. Thank you. Um, I am the Director of Land and Tenant Justice with the Beverly Vermont Community Land Trust, where our mission is to build community power to keep working class communities of color in their homes and neighborhoods through permanent affordability and democratic community ownership in Koreatown and surrounding neighborhoods in L.A. As a land trust, we steward the land of a 47-unit property known as the LA Eco Village, where the tenants are the owners of the building, and we steward the land to ensure permanent affordability and community use. With that being said, I applaud the Housing Committee for investigating community land trust as a unique and impactful tool to advance community self-determination and as a means to stabilize housing, pursue a mechanism to protect properties, and protect residents from speculators and corporate buyers. We support this motion, but we also request that it is amended to direct the department to consult with the Los Angeles Community Land Trust Coalition as they prepare a report for the feasibility of establishing a citywide community land trust partnership program model after the LA County program. That, re that report should include best, pr best practices, program designs, and funds for other resources needed to acquire and rehabilitate small multi-unit properties with the goal of converting them into tenant ownership. The success of the LA County program, as my colleague Jonathan mentioned, secured 47 units around LA, specifically for Beverly, Vermont. We were able to secure a building in Koreatown after a year-long struggle of working with a group of tenants who were facing harassment from the landlord and discriminatory practices, which is a common story that we hear during the pandemic. We're also able to secure housing for a building in North Hollywood that was at risk of losing its affordability as we've witnessed seven day escrow periods in the area using cash as the means to buy properties during this time. So thank you for helping advance community ownership, stability and self-determination. Thank you. Thank you, caller. Caller, could you please state your name and the items you wanna speak on? Caller, could you please state your name and the items you wanna speak on? With the last four digits, 5100, zero, zero. could you please state your name and the items you want to speak on? Press star six to unmute. Hello? Go ahead. Thank you. Good afternoon, council members. My name is Arita Jones, and I would like to speak today on item number five and make a general public comment. You have two minutes. Uh, thank you. As vice chairperson of Liberty Community Land Trust, a resident of Council District 10, and also a um, resident of the last 40 years plus 
being within my community. I wanted to say thank you so much for the action of the Housing Committee today and considering investing in the Community Land Trust. This is a unique and impactful tool to help advance community self-determination, build community equity, and individual wealth, and help create permanent affordable housing within our city. Uh, Liberty, we can actually operate uh, countywide, but we are focusing our efforts in the Crenshaw Corridor and displacement along the Metro Line. Uh, we thank you in advance for helping our community protect our families, um, st uh, stabilize some of the residents, and also the self-determination within our city. Uh, we understand that the Community Land Trust um, is, is actually booming in the nation and also uh, internationally. They're, the growing understanding to show that the Community Land Trust model is a proven and cost-effective way to protect properties from speculators and buyers, but we also support this motion, but we are requesting that it be amended to direct the departments to consult with the Los Angeles Community Land Trust Coalition um, as we prepare a report on the feasibility and the process of establishing a citywide CLT partnership similar to the very successful model that we have with the County of Los Angeles right now. The program, um, it'll, it'll also mention um, some of the program design, some of the funds and other resources that we need to acquire and re rehabilitate these small multifamily properties um, and with the actual goal of converting them into tenant ownership. Um, so. Uh, I just wanted to say thank you for listening, and we appreciate you. Thank you, caller. Caller, could you please state your name and the items you want to speak on? Caller, could you please, uh, please press star six? Go ahead. Good afternoon, council members. My name is Oscar Monge, and I am speaking today in support of item five and making general public comment. You have two minutes. May I have the three minutes, please, as general comment? Uh, you, you have uh, one minute for general comment and one for the item five, so you have two minutes. Thank you. I'm the associate director of Trust House LA, and we work in districts one, eight, and nine, and I'm also a resident of Council District one. We appreciate the action of the, the Housing Committee today to consider investigating community land trust as a unique and impactful tool to advance community self-determination, build community equity, and individual wealth and create permanently affordable housing. A lot of interest has gone into community land trust models in the U.S. and also internationally. As municipalities and community-based initiatives are realizing that the CLT model is a proven and effective way to protect properties from acquisition by speculators and corporate buyers. This is all the more important given the economic stress faced by so many communities and households across the city as a result of the pandemic and the potential disaster-related property loss and speculation. We support this motion, but however, we request that, the, that it be amended to direct the department to consult with the LA Community Land Trust Coalition as they prepare a report on the feasibility and process of establishing a citywide CLT per partnership program modeled after the LA County program, and that the report include best practices for program design and funds and other resources needed to acquire and rehabilitate small multifamily properties with the goal and of converting them to tenant ownership. So far, the county program has been hugely successful. Over just four months, the LA CLT Coalition rapidly acquired eight buildings with 42 units, permanently affordable at an average of $333,000 per unit. Even at the pilot stage of, of the program has proven the fast-acting and cost-effective strategy that will have very long-term impacts. With the state of California having its $500,000 acquisition program for one to 25 unit buildings, uh, sorry, unit buildings of foreclosure distressed properties, CLTs and tenants and other mission aligned um, organizations are uh, having an unprecedented opportunity to leverage uh, public resources to build this community and tenant ownership that we're talking about. Trust launched as a community driven effort in, back in 2005, and we have been successfully been able to. Thank you, caller. Caller, could you please state your name and the items you want to speak on? Caller, oh, go ahead. Good afternoon, council members. My name is Fanny Guzman Ortiz. I'm speaking today in support of item number five and making general public comment. You have two minutes. I am a co I am a co-founding member and board member with Fide Comiso Comunitario Tierra Libre as well as the organizer. I am a resident of City Council District 14, and I am also the treasurer for the California CLT Network. We appreciate the action of the Housing Committee today to consider investigating community land trust as a unique and impactful tool to advance community 
self-determination, build community equity and individual wealth and create permanently affordable housing. I want to echo that everything that has been said so far by Jonathan, Diana, Oscar, and Casey um, is what I support. Um, I am part of the LACLT coalition, uh, which has rapidly acquired eight buildings, making 47 units permanently affordable. Um, and even though this program is still at the pilot stage, the program has proven to be fast acting and cost effective strategy that will have a long-term impact in our community. Um, TLTs make for smart public policy, uh, and it is a one-time investment that subsequently is forwarded by community land trusts, local residents, and neighborhood-based CDCs to benefit families now and for forever, rather than requiring ongoing subsidies for dealing with expiring covenants. And as Oscar mentioned, with the state uh, of California investing for the first time $500 million for acquisition. This will go, um, this will leverage many families uh, and properties that are at, at risk of foreclosure uh, to have uh, the possibility of tenant ownership. And I just wanted to share that Fideicomiso Comunitario Tierra Libre, which is the COT that I am part of and was founded by community residents and tenants that are currently fighting to stay in the gentrifying neighborhoods. Um, we are intentionally disrupting the narrative of the extractive tenant owner relationship by deliberately addressing the historical inequities that have impacted our community. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Chair, that's all we have for public comment. Well, that's excellent. Thank you. We have um, prepared to move forward with our agenda. We have a appointment the mayor has asked us to move forward. Mr. Raul Clados, is there any objection to this appointment? Colleagues? No objection stated, we'll move that uh, forward. Uh, Keona, I don't wanna get too far ahead of you. No worries, call in the roll to approve item number one. Council member Cedillo. Cedillo, aye. Council member Rahman. Yes. Council member Harris Dawson. Affirmative. Council member Krikorian? Aye. And for the record, council member Lee is absent, four ayes. This item is approved. Number two. Item number two is a city administrative officer and Los Angeles housing department reports relative to authority to accept and expend the 2021 community development grant from CIT Bank NA Appropriate the 2021 grant funds within the LAHD Small Grants and Awards Fund number 49N and apply for the 2022 Community Development Grant. I believe this is item an item for consent. Any objection? Move to adopt the recommendation from the CAO report. Thank you, Mr. Harris Dawson, for the second. You want to call the roll? Call in the roll to adopt the CAO recommendations for item number two. Council member Cedillo. Cedillo, aye. Council member Rahman. Yes. Council member Harris Dawson. Yes. Council member Krikorian. Aye. For the record, council member Lee is absent. Four items. The CAO recommendations are approved. Item number three. Item number three is a Los Angeles Housing and Community Investment Department report, and we have the City Administrative Officer 2 report relative to authority to execute a professional services agreement with First American Data Tree LLC to provide real estate information services for a five-year term effective on or about October 1st, 2021 to September 30th, 2026, contingent upon the satisfactory performance by the contractor and funding availability. CAO. I'm sorry, Emily, you're muted. Thank you, Kiona. Sorry. Emily Zen Cervantes from the Office of the City Administrative Officer. Our office reviewed uh, the Housing Department's request and we concur with their recommendations. There is no general fund impact as this contract would be funded by special funds. So I'm going to go ahead and read our recommendation into the record. Um, 
that the council subject to the approval of the mayor authorized the general manager of the Los Angeles Housing Department or designee to negotiate and execute a professional services agreement with First American Data Tree LLC to provide real estate services information services for a compensation amount not to exceed $675,000 and a contract term of five years to commence on or about October 1st, 2021, subject to the review and approval of the city attorney as to form and compliance with the city's contracting requirements and insurance requirements prior to execution. Thank you. I'm available if there's any questions. Questions? Can we move to adopt the recommendations of the CEO report? So moved. Thank you, Mr. Kokorian, for your second. You want to call the roll, Ms. Kiona? Calling the roll to adopt the CAO recommendations for item number three. Council Member Cedillo? Cedillo, aye. Council Member Raman? Yes. Council Member Harris Dawson? Yes. Council Member Kokorian? Aye. And for the record, Council Member Lee is absent, four ayes. The CAO recommendations are approved. Item number four is a motion by DeLeon and Ridley Thomas relative to the need for a consistent system so that reports clearly articulate the project costs and city funding allocated to a project so that the public can clearly understand what is being voted upon when the public views an item on a committee or council agenda. We have uh, a report. Ms. Sewell. Um, no, council member, I believe this is, it's going through for the first time. Right, right. And, uh, I'll, I'll you have a comment. Item. I'll move the item, Mr. Chair. Okay, do you have, uh, did you want to comment on the item, Ms. Sol? No. Uh, uh, just that I, I think the, um, the objective is, is uh, la laudable to put more information you know, out. Um, the implementation <coughs> raises some challenges and so we'll be working with the CLA and others to figure out how to do it without um, you know, overwhelming people with information that uh, they might be able to click through for details. So we'll, we'll work on that and get, um, you know, and deal with that in the report back. Very good. Uh, did I hear Mr. harris Dawson move? Mr. Kikorian second. You wanna call the roll? Call in the roll to approve the motion in item number four. Council member Cedillo. Cedillo, aye. Council member Rahman. Yes. Council member Harris Dawson. Yes. Council member Krikorian. Aye. And for the record, council member Lee is absent. Four ayes. This item is approved. Item number five is a motion by Coretz, Bonin, and Harris Dawson relative to the feasibility of developing a community land trust program in the city, including a review of community land trust best practices. Okay. Any comment, uh, Ms. Rahman? Any comment, uh, colleagues? I'll, I'll move the item, Mr. Chair. Ms. Rahman, thank you for the second. Yes, you're welcome. There's an amendment, though. Is that correct, Ms. Kidd? Does that need to be read into the motion? I, I think it's your office that's putting forward the amendment. For city yeah. So, um, and then we heard this during public comment, instruct the CLA with the assistance of the Housing and Community Investment Department and the city uh, administrative officer, and in cons consultation with the Housing Authority of the city of Los Angeles to consult the LA Community Land Trust Coalition on the development structure and the framework of a potential community land trust pilot in the city. That's the amendment. Ms. Rahman, thank you for your second. You're welcome, sir. You wanna call the roll? 
calling the roll to approve the motion in item number four as amended as verbally, verbally by the chair. Council member Cedillo. Cedillo, aye. Council member Rahman. Yes. Council member Harris Dawson. Yes. Council member Krikorian. Aye. Council member Lee is absent for the record. Item number five is approved as amended. Madam Clerk, does that clear the desk? The desk is clear, Mr. Chair. Colleagues, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. Your patience and tolerance and leadership is appreciated. Good afternoon. Feel better, Mr. Chairman. Appreciate you all.